Located on First Avenue, just off the Lloyd Expressway in Evansville, Indiana, Willard Library has been a staple in the community since the late 19th century. After over 100 years of standing in its original state, the library expanded in 2015. To this day, Willard continues to offer the public a multitude of print materials and archives, as well as several adult and children's services. Today I'm meeting with Director of Willard Library, Gregory Hager. Thank you for meeting with me today. Oh sure, happy to do it. I know you recently expanded this year. Why was that expansion necessary? Well, when Willard first opened in 1885, uh, the building is about 15,000 square feet. So for 130 years, it's been 15,000 square feet. Um, we have a whole lot more business today than, than there was in 1885. So we didn't really have enough room to have all the people that wanted to come to library programs. Um, so we needed a place where we could have 150 people in seats if they, if they needed to be. Um, we also needed a place to bring all of our archival holdings together in one place, uh, as opposed to having them kind of scattered throughout either this building or offsite storage, which was not ideal. So we really needed an, a better archives. We needed a place, a space that we're calling the gallery, so we can, we can have exhibits um, and show pieces from, our, from the library archives. And we can also have library programs and be able to seat 150 people. So what room are we in right now? This is, this is part of the new addition. Uh, this room is, is the Browning Gallery. It's named for the Browning family. Um, and this, this is a place where we can have different displays, exhibits, um, and we will change these exhibits about once a quarter. Um, but there, there will always be something new happening uh, in this area, and this is open to the public. The other part of the addition is the archives reading room, and that's, that's another main room, um, and it's adjacent to the actual room that houses the archives. Uh, the archives isn't open to the public because it's a lot of loose papers, loose photographs, um, but the reading room is where the public can come and interface with the materials that are in the archive storage room. When was the library built, and was it the first one at Evansville? Uh, Willard Library opened in 1885. Construction of the building actually began in 1876, but the construction had to stop because of a kind of a national depression. Um, but when the construction did begin, it, it moved along pretty quickly. Um, and I think they restarted the construction um, in 1882, I believe. Um, so by 1885, the building was good, ready to go, and open to the public. Willard Library is the oldest public library building in the state of Indiana. It was, wasn't actually, the very first library in Evansville was a subscription library that people had to pay to, to join, to belong to. So Willard was the first public library in the city. Willard Library is actually named for Willard Carpenter, the founder of the library, and you'll note that that's his first name. Um, he was kind of an unusual, unusual person and a little bit different, and when he took ownership of this project, uh, he wanted it to be about him, and it was you know his library, his idea, um, not necessarily the Carpenter family's idea, and the name Willard was what they went with. I really admire the architecture of the building. Can you explain to me the style of the building? Sure. Uh, it was built, like I said, in 1885, um, and the architectural style is Victorian Gothic, um, so that. It's a, it's a very, uh, has a lot of, uh, it's very upright, uh, a lot of arches, um, very pointed uh, on the exterior. And then on the inside, um, it was custom, customary for Victorians to kind of put their money where you could see it. So when you, when you come in, you see uh, expensive tile floors, uh, large, you know, expansive ceilings, uh, large windows, a lot of stained glass. So um, that's, just, that's just the nature of the architecture. So what sets Willard apart from other public libraries? Well, the extensive archives is, is pretty incredible. Um, most libraries don't have the, the type of resources, uh, archival resources that Willard does have. Um, I would say that local history, genealogy, is a huge component of what we do here. That kind of goes along with the territory. When you're 130 years old, you just end up with a lot of historical material. Um, we also just specialize in popular fiction, popular nonfiction, like most other public libraries, but we, are, we have a, a very big interest in arts and humanities. 
So about 25% of our nonfiction collection is art book collection, uh, large coffee table sized art books that you know, people don't normally go out and just buy because they're very expensive. We try to do that and provide that for people. Those are just a couple of things that make us a little bit different from a lot of other public libraries. So when you built the expansion, did you try to mimic the Victorian style that Mr. Carpenter originally had? Very much. Um, in fact, that was, that was probably our biggest challenge with this edition, was how do we do it and keep it in style and in keeping with the nature, the historic nature of the building. And what we arrived at was we wanted the exterior to resemble a Victorian garden wall. And the interior, we tried to blend elements of the existing woodwork, uh, the existing flooring, the existing tile, even the existing furniture to kind of tie it into the, to the historic. And I think that we've succeeded in that. Uh, we definitely have Victorian colors on the walls and, uh, uh, and, and I think the wood, woodwork speaks for itself. What do you see in the future for the library? I, th I think Willard has a bright future. Um, I see us expanding our programming efforts uh, and doing more things with, with this uh, new space that we have. And I, I would really like to see us move toward uh, having a genealogy expo, possibly a week-long expo that would be more of a, a regional uh, genealogy with people coming from outside the area to Evansville to, uh, to delve a little more into genealogy. That's, that's just one of the, the things I see for us, but the future's bright. Thank you for meeting with me today. Sure, my pleasure. Reporting from Rillard Library for Bossy's EVSC Community Link, I'm Miranda Meister.